If you're not familiar with Brightline, we're the first privately funded passenger rail system in the United States in over 100 years. Uh, and our whole goal is to take cars off the road, um, improve mobility, and to connect communities and cities like never before. And I think that we're going to get a chance to do that during the Super Bowl. I also want to thank the uh, Palm Beach Commission, uh, the Mayor, Ray, Virginia, Baker. Um, even though we're a privately funded company, I think that we are a great example of a public-private partnership and what working together allows you to do and what you can build. If you're building a train or you're putting on a Super Bowl, you got to have a lot of partners. Uh, without those partners, you don't get as much done. Um, I know a lot of folks have talked about the uh, economic impact that these that these that this game brings, and that's fantastic. I just want to add one more thing to the mix, which is in about a year and a half of service, Brightline has gotten 1.5, 1.6 million people out of their car onto our train. We've moved them safely throughout South Florida. Uh, we've removed 15 million pounds of carbon emissions out of the air. Uh, we've taken over 750,000 cars off the road. Uh, and once we go to Orlando in 2022, that number will escalate to four and a half million cars off the road each and every year. Um, and so for us, everything we do is about connecting people. Connecting people, <coughs> connecting businesses, connecting sports fans, and certainly whether you're coming to Palm Beach to enjoy the events leading up to the game, or you're going down to Bayfront to enjoy some of the events before the game in Miami, we ask that you take Brightline. We hope that you enjoy the service, and we uh, encourage you to uh, to hop aboard anytime. Thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate it.